Hi, welcome to a quick video on message monitoring in S4 HANA Cloud Public Edition. In this quick video, I'll show you how a line of business user or a power user can reprocess a message in the S4 HANA Cloud system using the message monitoring applications. Within the SAP S4 HANA Cloud system, there are several applications that handle integration monitoring from a message perspective. Um, they're found here on the, the help site, and I'll, I'll put this link in the show notes, but uh, message monitoring, message dashboard, and there are several, I would all say, more user-friendly applications such as message monitoring for integration experts, which we'll look at, message monitoring for administrators, as well as the ability to uh, look at API logs from a SOAP or OData perspective. From an, from an integration perspective, Oftentimes, the integration suite of the business technology platform sits in the middle as the, the integration platform interfacing data into and out of the SAP S4 HANA Cloud solution. The integration suite itself has a robust monitoring framework, um, both from a technical monitoring perspective, so technical users can, can log in and view a dashboard on, on messages processed, look at the errors, analyze payloads, but that's really geared toward a technical user. Oftentimes, customers will configure email-based alerting, either from the iFlow directly or through the alert notification service on BTP to alert uh, business users or business DLs of application-based errors. So for example, maybe an order's coming from an external system and there's data that's incorrect on the originating entry that needs to be corrected on the external system, that API call will fail. And if it's a synchronous call, you can alert via an email to those user populations. But a lot of the APIs for A to A or application to application are, are SOAP based and, and or use uh, an asynchronous based processing, which lends himself very nicely to be monitored and corrected in the S4 HANA cloud system. So your business users or your line of business power users stay within the S4 system, get notified in the S4 system and can take corrective action there. And that's what we're going to look at here. So in this example, <clears throat> I'm going to submit a sales order from SOAP UI, which is an API testing tool. So this would be a sales order coming from an external system. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this payload. You can see here that I've modified the material TG11 to be TG11 underscore bad. So this material does not exist in SAP. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this payload. I do get a 202 accepted. As I mentioned, this is an asynchronous API. So SAP acknowledges that they received the payload. Uh, it is syntactically or technically correct but it could have data issues. So on an asynchronous call, what happens is, is the S4 system picks up this payload, acknowledges it as we see here, and then tries to create the order in the system and calls back to this system on a different endpoint with either the success message or the error message. So now we're going to go over to the, the S4 HANA cloud system. The first thing you'll notice here is that I do have a notification in my alert notification that an error has occurred while processing an interface, and this is our interface, the sales order. But we're just going to drill into the application I mentioned previously, which is message monitoring for integration experts. So if we look here, um, I, I am only assigned uh, permissions, if you will, to this interface, which is the sales order bulk interface, which is the A to A. But oftentimes the, the user may have, you know, multiple integrations that they're monitoring. So I'm just going to drill into this specific interface and we can see here that, that my error is here. So we have some key information about the payload, but if I scroll down the, in the log details, I can see um, the material is not defined for sales org and that's simply because the material doesn't exist. So me as a business user would know that this material is not a valid material. So I'm going to go ahead and, and we're, let's correct this payload and process it right in the system. So I click on edit and I expand the data structure. So this is the, the inbound payload that was submitted from SOAP UI. And if I click on item here, now I have all, all of the fields. This was a two line item sales order. So if I scroll to the right, here's my material. 
just going to correct the incorrect material and take off underscore bad. Going to click save. And now I can click on restart and this will restart or reprocess the message. So the message does get reprocessed. I'll just click refresh. And now we have a success where the sales order 389607 has been saved. So this sales order has now been corrected. I can go ahead and confirm the alert because I have cleared it. And that that is a very simple way to correct uh, business data that was incorrect on an incoming payload. So it's very intuitive and easy to use as a business user. The, within this application specifically, there's also this functionality for mass error handling. So for example, uh, in the event, like uh, maybe you have an inventory issue with a material and a hundred orders came in for that material. If you correct the inventory issue, you could select all hundred orders here and reprocess all of them at, at once. So uh, bulk processing is available as well. If we drill back to the home page and go into monitoring apps, if I go into the message dashboard, this is what I'll say is the original uh, message monitoring application that, that has been around. This is the application interface framework or AIF view. Here is the same data, just a different view. If I select here, I can uh, search by key field. So if I wanna pull back all messages by sales org or division, by customer business partner, they're all here, material. So you can search and filter based on that. You can, of course, drill across days, times, filter by those with errors or warnings or all messages, et cetera. I, I mentioned how the, the interfaces were assigned. There is um, an application to, to assign uh, users to uh, these interfaces called um, assign recipients to end users. So I'm just going to co come under business network integration and here's an app assign recipients to users. This is where you can configure uh, the, the interfaces by user. So you can see here that I only have the sales order, but if I wanted to maybe monitor the outbound uh, payloads as well that are going back to the integration suite, I could simply say, uh, confirm recipient and assign this. And now this will show up in my, my message monitoring apps as well. So if I go back into the message dashboard, I now have sales order confirmation as well. Now this, this piece is not configured on the communication arrangement, so there's no outbound messages. But in the event that uh, we had this configured to send confirmations back to the integration suite, we would see the messages here. So that's a really high level of message monitoring in S4 HANA Cloud, but it is pretty intuitive for business users to use and modify payloads and, and monitor them, as well as we looked at the alert notification that is real time, so you saw the error pop up um, as soon as the, the payload was submitted. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.